Okay, welcome to this uh, very quick PHP security tutorial. Um, in this video, I'm just going to quickly explain the basics of magic quotes and their impact on security and sort of what to do about them, basically. So I've got this magic.php file here, uh, which I've got open in my editor here. Um, as you can see at the moment, all it does is checks if a variable is set in the URL, and if it is, it just outputs it to the screen. Uh, so I've got this open in my browser as well, and you can see at the moment I've just got example, which I was, which, which was um, the variable here, uh, whoops, here, variable there, set to test, and it's just outputting test. If I just change this, like test2, it appears. So what magic quotes do is, um, well, I suppose I could just demonstrate. If I uh, were to say set this to test, uh, okay, let's say um, something like, I'm testing enter. You can see what actually appears is I'm testing, but before the single quote here, a um, backward slash has been sort of placed, positioned. Um, when in the URL, that's not actually there. Uh, and this is the effect of magic quotes. This is what it does. Um, so any, well, there are a few characters. One of them is single quotes. Uh, I think double quotes. There are yeah, double quotes as well. There are a few others. Uh, null bytes is one of them, I think. Maybe not. You can check. It's on php.net. Um, but basically, these were introduced in PHP um, to sort of help new developers um, write more secure code. Um, so the idea is that if you were to, without knowing about SQL injection, you were to blindly use this variable, variable um, in like a MySQL query or something like that, um, then it would protect you from an SQL injection without you actually having to do anything. Uh, the problem is that it doesn't escape enough characters and also it escapes every single get variable so even if you're not using this in a query you get the escaping done um, and it escapes every single variable uh, from get, post or cookie um, regardless of whether it's sort of necessary or not so that's kind of the reason why you don't want to use it you want to have it disabled on your server if possible. Um, and also, MySQL, um, there is a function, MySQL real escape string, which escapes all control characters in MySQL, um, and there's sort of no way to kind of bypass that, sort of. Um, but anyway, I have a video on SQL injection, so I don't want to talk about that too much now, so you could watch that if you feel like you want to know about SQL injection more, or hear me attempt to explain it, that is. Um, so yeah, that's basically what Magic Quotes does. Um, it's exactly the same, actually, as adding the uh, strip slashes function, sorry, the add slashes function. Um, it effectively, it's the same as applying that to every get, post, and cookie variable. So it's, um, when you have Magic Quotes on, it's effectively doing this. Get example equals add slashes get example. Oops. I think that's about right. So that's effectively what happens for every single variable. So that's, you can maybe see, if I put the code there, why you don't want that to happen. Um, because it's obviously be quite inefficient just to randomly escape everything, even though you might only need it, hap to, need, need it to happen to like one variable or something. But anyway, yeah, that's the basics of it. Um, don't need that. Uh, there is a way you can remove it using the strip slashes function and what that does is basically undoes the effect of magic quotes. So if I now do echo strip slashes like so, hit save and now reload our page, you can see that the uh, slash has gone. Uh, so now we're getting what we actually have in the URL and you could do this automatically um, using a sort of loop to loop over every variable or you could just use it when you sort of need to, basically, which sort of makes a bit more sense. Um, in the uh, SQL injection video, I showed you how to make a function which first checked if magic quotes was on, and if it was, it would strip the slashes. Um, it can sort of be a little bit easier to do this for every variable, but yeah, I leave it up to you, as this video is not about doing that. Um, but the other thing I do want to talk about is the get magic quotes GPC function. Um, what that does is it lets you check to see if magic quotes is currently enabled. 
So if I just remove this code here and do echo get magic quotes GPC, without that plus there, uh, the GPC stands for get post and cookie. Just point of interest really. Uh, so if I reload the page now, you can see we get one. This function, weirdly, for some reason, returns integers, so one if magic quotes is on and zero if it's off, as opposed to true and false. Not sure why it does that, but there you go. Um, so what you can do is use this function to check if magic quotes is on or not, and then uh, decide whether or not you want to do strip slashes. So you could do, for example, if magic quotes is on, get example equals strip slashes get oops example and then when you do echo get example you will just get the uh, stripped version but also if you don't have magic quotes on uh, if a user has actually typed that you will get that output um, backslashes are one of the characters that magic quotes escapes so I can just demonstrate that now if I just comment out that line and reload the page you can see that magic quotes has uh, okay, this character here the middle slash and this quote are the characters that were typed and previous to those characters magic quotes has added a backslash so you can sort of see there are three backslashes and a quote so if the user had just typed this and you had magic quotes off and you applied strip slashes, you would lose all of that. I can demonstrate that as well, um, because I have this HD access file, which you may have been wondering about, um, which is setting the value for magic quotes for this folder that I'm working in. So I just turn off magic quotes, like so, and reload our page. You can see that we get the um, output exactly as it, as it is in the variable. So this is with magic quotes off. This is um, not automatically escaping anything, this is just literally what they've typed. So if I were to remove this uh, backslash here, it will also disappear from there. Oops, I'll just put it back because I need it for an example. The problem is though, that if we now, um, well, uncomment that, actually, yeah, okay, well, let's do that. And let's, well, that won't do anything because the get magic quotes GPC function will be returning zero. So I reload this, get the exact same output. But say if we were just randomly applying it all the time, strip slashes, and reload the page again, see the slash goes, and that's not what they entered. So you want to make sure that what the user enters is always what they like get as a result, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of the get magic quotes GPC function. Um, let's just turn this back on and oops, remove that and reload our page again just to demonstrate that the output is still exactly as they enter. So that's the basics of that. Um, this was a request tutorial. Um, feel free to request more tutorials. Um, I don't want to run out of ideas. Um, so yeah, hopefully I've explained this a little bit. Um, I want to go into a bit more detail than I did in the SQL injection video. So hopefully I have done.